Hello, this is Jeff, creator of UDoodle. I'd like to tell you about the new user interface in UDoodle. Spent several weeks, well, more like months, testing and tweaking the UI, trying to make the app more usable and fun. And I think I've got something that will work well. And I would love your feedback on this, so please write a review or email support at udoodle.net. But this tutorial is going to cover everything that's new in the user interface. Let's go ahead and start at the top. You'll notice that the Undo, Redo, Layers button, Toolbox, News button, and File button are all at the top. Uh, I've moved those Undo and Redo layers and Toolbox up to the top because I figure those are going to be used less often. They don't need to be at the bottom. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the Toolbox. The Toolbox is slightly different. Um, you'll notice that the Tutorials Contact me and settings buttons are little tiny buttons right there in the top right. Uh, we still have all of the options that are were there before. Uh, make a t-shirt I think is new in there. I moved that from the file button to this button as well as the sketchbook. So if you want to get in and look at your sketchbook, uh, do the toolbox now. It's not on the file button anymore. File button is a lot simpler. We've got import if you want to bring uh, a new project in with a photo uh, and also clear and then the save and share options. Import is basically allowing you to start a new project with a photo uh, or load from the sketchbook. But the real fun part is, is these draw tools at the bottom. This toolbar at the bottom is new. Uh, the first thing you should know is that if you don't like the toolbar being at the bottom you can swipe up and send it to the top. If you want to move it back, swipe down. Very simple. Some of you may have a problem accidentally tapping tools at the bottom. In that case, simply swipe the bar up. The nice thing is, is when you leave the app and come back later, it will remember where the toolbar was and keep it there for you. The second thing you should know is that these draw tools at the bottom can be reordered. So if you long tap and hold, you can see that you can move this around and put it wherever you want. So you may want to put your most favorite tools all the way here on the left or maybe in the middle and move some of the other ones over. And those will also be remembered when you leave the app and come back. There are all the draw tools in here. We've got brush, eraser, color picker, flood fill, scissors, airbrush, shape brush, uh, calligraphy pen, the smudge tool, blur tool, clone stamp, recolor, spray paint, and chalk. But also we have additional tools in here. These can be accessed directly without having to do a second tap. So you see all of these in the toolbox, but they're also on this bar for quicker access. Uh, the text tool, stamps, filters, shapes, gradient, blender, crop, and resize. Uh, these can also be reordered if you want to put them somewhere else. All right, so let's take a look at what these draw tools look like. Uh, when you want to open the settings for your tool, tap it. And it looks just the same as it did before. Change the color, change the size. Simple. When you switch tools, let's say I want to do some airbrushing, you'll notice that the selection switches to the airbrush, but it does not open your settings. This is so that you can quickly switch tools and uh, not have the settings pop open every time. If you want those settings, tap it a second time and the settings open up. And that's really all there is to it. Um, the, there was one thing that's no longer in there, and that's long tapping to go into color picker mode. That's no longer necessary because you can just simply tap the color picker and move around and it will just pick a color. And then the next draw tool that you tap on will get the color. So the brush tool is now that purple color. And that's how you use the color picker with this new UI. It's very easy to go pick colors and then tap a draw tool to apply that color. Very simple. Uh, that's all there is to the new UI. I really hope that you like it. I want your feedback because I'm willing to iterate on this and change it as you guys see fit and have problems. I will make it better. But I think this will make the app a lot more usable and a lot more fun. And I really appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day.